Hello, what's up everybody? It's Papa Bail. Welcome to the channel. Um, we were going through, this is a pulse motor, by the way, and we're going through different ways to hook up a four filer coil with four different gauges in it. Like, which way you can hook it up, and what the outcome will be. Um... Some are going to have more torque. I think the final outcome of all the connections is going to be about the same. As long as they're all working. But how we get there is going to be really different. Each one, I'm pretty sure. And what that means is a max RPM, a max Q for this um, coil and rotor. The combination, there's going to be a max RPM you can achieve. Um, and the transistor, that's a huge piece of this too. And it's, a uh, an NTE 36 and an NTE 2317, I believe. Something like that. I threw out the box, so I don't know. But they're, uh, they're NTEs and they're, they work very well, in my opinion. So what the current connection is, is a 22 gauge strand hooked in series with a 30 gauge strand going to this transistor right here. It's too big to fit in a breadboard, so this is how I'm doing it right now. If there's a breadboard of a different size, could somebody give me some specifications so I can order them? That'd be great. Um, larger holes is what I'm looking for. Okay, so. And then we have a single strand of 26 hooked up to the other transistor. So 22, 30 hooked up to one and 26 hooked up to another. And the, the 32 gauge strand is left out to either generate or do something. It's just, it's free. Just, just chilling there. Not doing anything. Now, I would like to point out uh, these other two drive circuit coils um, are not connected to the power source. But they're connected to each other in a very crazy series circuit. So it goes 22 to 22 to 26 to 26 all the way to 32. And here I'm just going to give this a little spin. There's a load, okay? So there's a magnetic load. You can see it like that. All right. Now, there's like no power um, being put into it, but this is the power that's coming back to it right currently. So when I spun it, it made the power go back into the power supply and read on the meter. So this is what you would call, I guess, back EMF. A register of back EMF, I guess. Because that's kind of what I think it's doing. But see, man, just look at that. That spin. I don't know. Maybe it's not doing anything. It's an open circuit. So it's probably not doing anything. They're just connected to each other. And the 32 strand is open on that side. And the 22 is open on this side. So... It's just connected. Nevertheless, the <laughs> when a magnet passes this coil, electricity is generated. So what happens? I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Maybe we'll hook up the oscilloscope and see what's going on in there. If anything. All right. We're going to turn it on now. We'll put it at 
20 volts. And then we'll give it a little twist. That will get going, or I could twist it again and do it a little bit harder. Get past all this rocky business. I might do that because it looks like. Yeah, that jumping around is going to slow it down. But if you get it, if you spin it fast enough to get past that point. It just is smooth sailing from there. I don't know what that is. It's probably these coils right here because something does happen <laughs> for sure. I'm just not sure if it's beneficial or positive or anything like that. So this is 20 volts and as it picks up speed we get this reading off of the back of this coil right here. So what we're reading is this big coil right here that's on the back of this coil right here. So this coil is on the oscilloscope. Oh yeah, let's uh, let's make it AC because it is AC. About six hundred volt spikes between five and six hundred. Gonna turn it up. Thirty volts. Eight hundred. Nine hundred. That's awesome. Just listen to that. That is still picking up speed. And I'm pretty sure we get the torque from the one strand of 26 and we get the speed from the, the series of 22 and 30 together. But combined, I mean, just look at that. That's so cool. All right, I'm gonna cut it back. Oh yeah, look what happens when we turn it turn it off. Look at those spikes, man. That's freaking crazy. That's like 1,300, 1,500 volts. That's crazy. That is so awesome, though, man. That's awesome. But this is a tabletop toy. I mean, we're making enough volts here to really shock somebody. And I'm sure there's um, current. That's how much current is in it with the, the power off. So not much at all. And it's 32 gauge. So it's not going to ever be much.
these are milliamps but that's back EMF so I don't know maybe I'm a little impressed with that because those are amps that are being generated from pure magnetic field without actually being in I don't even know what's doing it man it's uh, I know it's not the, the magnets it's the coil that the electricity is going through that's generating this we'll set up uh, a magnet you know the magnetic induction sequence later so we got up to two milliamps but in the next uh, video I'm going to hook up this coil right here and we're going to we're going to check the current and we're going to check the the wave and check the voltage. All right, so thank you very much. Peace out ladies and gentlemen. Bye now.